ndee wo no ndee ba anyi una abiala tata anyi geji ngwa ndi ni na aha emere na mbembo ai geji ha me ajuju na osisa how are you today so i'm trying to say that we've been conjugating verbs for a while now you can check our past videos to see those verbs but now we are going to put them in question forms initially we just made simple sentences right this time around we're going to try to use those verbs to ask questions so i'm going to start with the verb to be able the verb to be all right then i'm going to start with the first person singular which is i so the first question i can ask with you know the verb to be for the i position is onye ka mbo onye ka mbo onye ka m i who am i so this is i ah who are my so two ways of asking the question who am i okay onye kambo onye kambo or abum onye am i who something like that okay so now we're going to answer in the different persons So I'm the one asking somebody this question, okay? Now we're going to show so many ways that you can answer this question. Who are you? Could be your name, could be your personality, could be your position in authority, could be what you do for a living, could be an office, you know, just about that. So let's start, okay? Onye kambo. I'm asking somebody. So the person is going to respond to me. I can't ask myself the question and answer. There are times you can do that. Like now that I'm presenting to you, I can tell you who I am. But usually it's somebody else that will ask me the question who I am. Who am I? So when you're answering that question, don't answer it as if um you're responding to yourself. You have to respond to somebody else. Am I making sense? Let's start. So I'm asking somebody over there, who am I? Who do you think I am? So you can the person will say E bo adako. E bo wani. Ibo onye nkuzi anyi onye nkuzi anyi ibo onye sindine onye isi ndi nne e bo ezewani e bo Onyo bioma. Ibo.
nne chika Ibu wanne wanno biora Ibu munye chuka Ibo Ibo Enyi Enyi Nkiru I'm going to read this these down Ibu Adako. So this question is as actually asking us to explain ourselves, describe ourselves, right? Ibu Adako. Ibu Wanyi. Ibu Onyenkuziani. Ibu Onyisindine. Ibu eze wanyi ibo onye obi oma ibo wanno obi oro ibo nwunye chuka ibo enyi nke iru we'll go to the next question and answer Now we're going to write the negative answer to this question. Onye Kambo, who am I? Abumonye, still who am I? Or am I who? Ibogi. Obiageli. Any 
Ibogi onya rubo. Ibogi onya rubo. Ibogi onya abatobim. Ibogi ngodibom. Ibogi ajonwani. Ibogi nne Olivia. Ibogi ngunye ema. Ibogi enyi uche. Ibogi ekureku. So these are the sentences that can actually describe me. That is you telling me who I am, not me telling myself who I am. However, I can ask who am I and then I begin to tell you. And that way you will make the sentence to be abum. Let's say this one. Abum obiageli. Or abogim obiageli. Do you get it? So that's me answering the question. Remember, the question is usually directed to somebody else and that person gives the response. So if I call myself I, that person is going to call me you. That person is not going to say I because when another person says I, it's no longer me. It's that person. That's why I ask the question, Onye kambo. Then the answer will come from E is you. I, you. Who am I? This person answers back, you are Olivia. All right? Let's go to the next person. Okay? Okay. The next question we're going to ask is the second person singular, you. Onye ka ipo. And the question goes, who are you? So I'm asking the question to somebody over there. And that person is going to respond to me. So onye kaibo is, who are you? Or onye kaibo, because the A gets swallowed, right? Ibo onye, either way, same meaning. Who are you? Are you who? Okay? So let's start to answer again. Abu. Okay, okay. Abu. Okay. Abu.
kai go kwaya ozo abum okeke abum oke abum onyoru ugbo abum ogo amechi abum nna emeka abum di ada abum enyi udoka abum enyi udoka Now, I'm going to include the negative sentences in these spaces so we see both of them at the same time. All right? So, this is a positive, like somebody answering in the affirmative. Now, we're going to write somebody negating, you know, answering in the negative. All right, let's start. A boogie. Aboyim Okafo Aboyim Wan Aboyim Onyoshi going to read the both of them at the same time okay abum okeke abogim okafo abum oke abogim wany abum onyorubo abogim onyoshi abum ogo amechi abogim ogo iweka Abum na emeka. Abogem na ijoma. Abum diada. Abogem diamaka. Abum enyi udoka. Abogem enyi uzoma. Coming to the final, the third person singular, okay, which is she, he, it. Before we start, I'd like you to know that human beings are the only ones expressed as onye. You cannot express an animal as onye. Onye means who, who, right? So for it, which is usually used to address animals or animate objects in animate objects non-living things we say guinea so i'm gonna write that sentence here and you pay attention to know the difference guinea ka or bo so guinea kobo I mean what is it but what is it is what is a thing what is that thing 
And remember, when you ask somebody, Onye Kaobu, who, who is he or who is she? The responder is going to answer, she is. The responder is not going to say, you are or I am. This is the struggle, you know, when people learn languages, they struggle with knowing when to use which pronoun. And I want you to imagine it first in your head before you give the response. If you don't know the response, go find it out before you begin to speak, okay? So that's how you will know that you grasp the language. It's the same for every other language. You can't be asking somebody, who are you? And, and the person begins to reply, she is. It means the person does not understand languages or the person struggles. So that's where your work is. Where your struggle lies is where the work is, right? So, Onye Kobu, who is he or who is she? We're going to start by saying, Obu. Eke. Mm. Obu. Mm. Uguchi. Obu. Onye okibe. Okay, let's read them again. Onye kobo, obo ekenna, obo na ogochi, obo onye okibe, obo onye abagana, obo onye ozi. Obu wanem. Obu onyo biwayo. Now I'm going to insert the negatives, okay? So what's the difference actually? In the negative, all you have to substitute is the bo. You just add e at the end. So it's, this will be, it. he is a mecca. He is not, not is he, but it cannot stand alone. It's a, it's a, a suffix in Igbo language. It's a suffix. It cannot stand alone. All right. You know how you say N O T not is not isn't in English. You can just write a word not. I am not, but in Igbo, he cannot stand alone. It has to be a suffix to a verb so we're just going to add it to negate all these sentences this is easy it's still easy for the rest all you have to do is to add Alright, 
So if we look at these sentences now, I want us to look at the definition in English. We want to understand when you ask somebody, who are you or who is he? There are many ways to describe the person. So in this question, Oboyi Ekenna, Ekenna is the name of a person. So you are describing the person by his name. Oboyi Nna Ugochi, Nna is father, Ugochi's father. He is not Ugochi's father. You are describing his position in the family, right? Oboyi Onye Okibe, Oboyi Onye Okibe. Okibe is a lawyer, an attorney. So he is not a lawyer. You have described the person or not because of the A as by his um, occupation. Obogi onya abagana. Abagana is a place in Anambra State. So you are describing the person by where he comes from. Right? Oburi Onyozi, he is not a messenger. So you are describing him by an action or, uh, or uh, you know, a duty that he performs, right? Oburi Onyem or Obu Onyem, you are describing him as a relative. Onyem means my brother, since he is a boy. This person seems to be a boy because we mentioned him to be Nna, which is father, right? So it means he is my brother or my sibling, okay? Oburi Onye, sorry, forget about the ye. He is the negative. I'm using this, the positive here, okay? Obu Onye Obi Wayo. He is a calm person. Wayo is calm or slow. You know, he's not that, you know, noisy or aggressive. He's calm. Okay? So that's it for all the first, second, third singulars. Now, let us go to the plurals. We have three plurals. You, plural, they, and we, right? They are practically the same. So whatever change we make in one, excuse me, I don't have my microphone. So whatever change we make in one of the plurals, we make it for all of them. So I may not have to repeat the whole thing, but it will be up to you to just replace, okay? Replace one pronoun with the other and make sure you know the meaning. Am I clear? Are you getting me? Are you feeling me? All right, let's start. I forgot to make an example of Guinea. You know, Guinea is for it. Guinea ka obu. What is it? Then you answer, obu nketa. It is a dog. Obu ewu. Obu yi ewu. It is not a goat. So you can just switch up names of animals here, names of birds, names of things. So that's why we started off with vocabularies where we learned different names, names of so many things. All right. So if you go to the past videos, one of the ones earliest videos, I may have to make another one where we are just dumping nouns different types of nouns names of animals birds things you know things we see in the house things we see on the road things we you know stuff like that that's how you grow your vocabulary right okay who are you this is you asking a group of people uno is you plural you plural more than one person right the answers are going to come as anibu ifan na
Eloka. So these are two people. We are Ifani and Eloka. So they mention their names. We are Ifani and Eloka. We are John and Thomas. We are Olivia and Jane. Right? Then you can now continue. Ani Bo Omo Apopo Ani Bo Omo Apopo We are students Omo Apopo This is plural so if it was one person that you asked the question, I'm going to put that under here, but that's not what we're conjugating right now. Just so you can see the both of, you know, the plural along with the singular, and then you see the difference, right? So we can say, Onye Ka I Bo I is you, singular. Uno Bo is you plural okay so here you would answer for the singular abu ifani so if i'm answering for this one onye kebo i could say abu so do you see the difference when there are more than one so anibo ifani and you see na na is now functioning as and the na we used to know was part of the verb anina we but now na is a conjunction joining these two letters i mean two uh, names ifani and eloka now for the second person singular it will be abum ifani and the question will be onyeka ebo you can't be asking one person onyekunobu when you ask one person onyekunobu that means you're accusing him to be <laughs> with some spirits that you can't see right okay so this is just so you can see the both of them at the same place now i want you to focus umu is the plural of mwa abu mwa kukwa singular anibu mwa kukwa plural are we making sense here note this now we made other sentences right now let us try and uh, negate these sentences over here i'll start with the first one i'm just gonna put something here hold on, hold on. i'll do it with the black so i'm just coming here just to negate this first sentence i'll say Ani, aboli. I have to find short names, okay? Then, if I want to negate this one over here, I will say Abogim Ozioma so look at the difference Bo. the difference is you just put the suffix not I am not Ozioma now I'm gonna negate this one first Ani Aboy sorry I shouldn't use uppercase in the middle of the sentence Ani Aboye
We are not children. You know, you can actually be a student and not be a child like you. A lot of you here may be adults. So you can indicate that you are not little kids. We are not little children. That's what this sentence is saying. So write another one. So this is me negating this one, right? So we've negated, no, this one, this one, Omo. Then we can now negate this, the second one, which is a singular. Hold on, I need to use the same kind of ink, the same kind of marker, color. Aboyim, Aboyim, Wata. Please pay attention. Mwata. Mwata means small child. I am not a small child. I'm not a baby. That's what it's saying. Okay? You can also do this one. This one is like Aboye Umu Akuko. Ani, oh sorry. Ani Aboye Umu Akuko. Ani Aboye Umu Akuko. Let's move on to they and we. Finally, we're going to practice asking, look at this one, Onye Kahabo, who are they? All right? Another way of putting this sentence is, Habonye, who are they? Now, the second sentence we're going to also do is So what I'm going to do here, I'm not going to repeat everything we did before. I'm just going to give you one example for these two at the same time so that you can look at them and make the other sentences, you know, using person's name, where they are from, their relationships, their occupation, their position or rank, okay? So let's start. Onye Kahabo, where I'm asking somebody. So remember, this is third person plural. I'm asking my friend, who are they? He's going to answer me, they are such and such people. But if I ask her, ask the same friend, who are we, me and my friends? He's going to an answer, you are. So let's see how that works here, okay? Onye kahabo. Ha? Bo. Ndi. Ndi. Ara. Ndi ara. So that is the answer for Onye Kahabu and Habu Onye. I'm just picking one thing, uh, something that I remember. So Habu Ndiara, they are crazy people. Okay? Then you can now find their names. Habu Uju. You can say Habu. Habu. Uju na Uzioma Habon Diara, Habon Dinkusi, Habon Dorubo, Habon de Habon de Dibio Ibo, you know, different occupations. Habo Munne, like Ndi is a form of plural okay there are some plurals that you use um there are some plurals that you use ndi. so if you want to say teacher singular in, in Igbo you say onyenkuzi but the plural for teachers in Igbo is ndi kuzi, not umu kuzi. 
Oh, it's usually for little kids. Anything concerning little children, okay? Or animals. Okay? So, Habu Ujunos Yoma Habu Ndi Ara. Mad people. Crazy people. But, you know, I just said it just so you can know some few words. You know, don't go addressing people as mad people, okay? So, Habu Ndi Ebu. You can also take this off. You can say, Habu Ndi Ebu. Habu Ndi Ebu. Onyeka habu, habu ndi ebu, habu uju no zioma. I've explained them a little bit. Habu omu nne. Now, you see where we have omu nne. Habu omu nne. Omu nne. Ego ono. They are ego ono siblings. So you describe them as a relative. You describe them for an activity they do. They are dancers. You describe them by their names. Ujuno Zioma. So go back to the other examples and kind of multiply them. So now I want you to focus and notice that ndi indicates plural, okay? And omo indicates singular. We are also going to do singular and plurals, okay? Just so, I think we should have done that before this. So that when we're doing this, it's easy to understand or comprehend, all right? Then, my question is, how do you negate? How do you negate the sentence? So just putting re, re here, which is like putting ha boye ndiebu put it here you put it here now another way another question I asked was when I asked my friend over there who are we she's going to respond to me and say you are you mean like all of you you are this so all we have to change in this case I'm gonna just indicate that this these two will have these responses I'm asking somebody, okay? I know there are cases where we can ask a question and answer ourselves. Like if I'm doing a video, if I tell, if I ask myself, who am I? I'll start to tell you who I am. But in real life, people don't just ask themselves questions. They ask other people, okay? So, how they will say, Uno, bo, Uno, Okay, okay. You are okay, case children. You see, um means plural, more than one child. If it's singular, it would be ma okay, okay. But plural, um okay, okay. Okay. Now let us mention our names. Uno bo, uno bo, ifoma. Nah. Ojugo. So I've mentioned there are two names. Unubi forman ojugo. Then you can say other things like Uno Bonde Uno Bo Ndi Ntakuko. So look at this. Akuko is story. Inter hunters. Hunters of stories. So you are journalists. You are journalists. We've come to today, to the end of today's program. These are things that will be contained in the book. Okay? We're going to conjugate more verbs until next time. It is bye. Comercia Gano. Tell me, comment in the comment section, okay? Whatever you don't understand, any error you think I made here, because I'm a human, right? Sometimes, you know, I fit this into my work. 
I work small, I do this. I work small, I do this. So when you catch any error, please don't fail to mention it in the comment. And then show me your practice, you know, where you used, you know, where you did your own practice and what you came up with. I really like to see them in the comments, okay? Remember to download the Swift key. The Swift key keyboard lets you have dots under vowels, okay? Yes. So, Oj Google. Yes. Bye bye.